We're in the chapel here for our weekday meditation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray the collect of the day. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We're going to take a look at one of the readings today, which is from Acts chapter 6. It's paired with a psalm, and it's paired with a, a John chapter 6 gospel. We'll look at the Acts reading, as Acts is the uh, first reading for much of the season of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and the people of Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. And they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemies against Moses and God. And they stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, and the cause of him seized him and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses. The Sanhedrin looked intently at him, Stephen, and saw that his face was like that of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, it's April 27th, but it sounds like it's December 26th, because it's a lot about Saint Stephen the Martyr. December 26th is his feast day. And in fact, this chapter 6 is read on his feast, and it also includes a chapter 7 reference of his being stoned when Saul is overseeing the stoning of this deacon, this one of the first seven deacons of the church. What's he doing? He's out preaching in public, preaching the word of Christ. And many of the words of Christ are now on the lips of this man. And he's bold. And it says he's filled with the Holy Spirit. He's also working various signs that show that, that the Spirit of the Lord is in him. And now Christ is working uh, out to the world through him. So he's one of the newly ordained of the church, the first wave in the first church of those who would serve in ministry. And there's certainly anointing going on in him. So we hear that they present false witnesses to him, just like once done to Jesus. And before the Sanhedrin, the scribes, the elders, all these accusations are made. But he looks so innocent. It says even in the text, his face was like that of an angel, reminding us of Jesus when he was the innocent one before Pilate. Verse 8 of Acts chapter 6 uh, says that Stephen was filled with grace and power you know, in the Holy Spirit. And so grace, you know, God's favor is on him. God's favor, God's um, inspiration is on him. Uh, he, is, he is moving in the spirit of God. God is finding a willing uh, partner to do the work and and Stephen is out there then preaching in the streets and bringing out the word I know some great deacons in the church today many of them are permanent deacons transitional deacon is a person who's on his way to priesthood but there are permanent deacons as well that uh, some of them are just outstanding and preaching uh, and it says filled with power you know you can tell when someone is really preaching with power because of their conviction. They are just bringing it. And they don't even need to look it down at any text or any notes because it's just burning in their heart. The Acts of the Apostles, for the first eight chapters here, is a story of, of, of Peter uh, and John you know, burning with zeal, burning with the fire of the Lord in them. And now we hear Stephen and... And Paul has not been introduced yet in the text. And we hear of a few other people in Acts. So here is Stephen, one of the first seven deacons. Here's a trivia question. Who are the first seven deacons 
of the church. It's a Bible question, Bible trivia. Well, he's speaking and they don't like it and they want to shut him down. I think the world today is also trying to shut down the message of Jesus Christ and his messengers, particularly uh, we of the Catholic faith. And so if you live the gospel, expect some reaction, some response, some negative response to us. Positive on our side, we're if we're getting uh, persecuted for the gospel, it means that we must be living it out and they must be seeing Jesus in us. And so that's what one of the Beatitudes is. Blessed are you when they persecute you and insult you all on account of me and my name and the gospel. And blessed are you, your reward would be great in heaven. Well, Stephen is uh, convicted by that. He believes that, yes, there is a reward for preaching the gospel, but the great reward is what's already in his heart. He is just so happy to be a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. And so he goes up before the Sanhedrin, and in tomorrow's uh, reading, we'll hear some of the words that he has to say before um, they put him to death. And it's a sad story there, but... It's a great martyrdom, and that's why he gets that feast day the day after Christmas, because he's one of the great witnesses of the church. And this is what the Acts of the Apostles are all about. It's about giving witness to our faith, to Jesus Christ, who reigns forever. God bless. <laughs>